All right, ladies and gents, are we back in action? Welcome back. Now, I know you haven't seen the original People's Champion, the Macho Man Robot Savage in a little while, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, shit, you're looking at the preview of my hunger build. Never mind. Ignore this. This doesn't exist yet, okay? Pretend, pretend you didn't see anything. Anyway, today I'm not here to talk about this. No, no, no. Don't, 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 don't steal that build. Don't steal that build. Don't look at that shit. Don't look at that shit. Okay, today I'm here to teach you about the Forbidden Axe build. Now, I know y'all been waiting for this one for quite a while. All right. The Urska Axe build will also be coming in the evening. Don't worry. Excuse my nose. Super, super allergies today. But um, the Urska Axe build will be coming together with the Shovel Knight cosplay. I know I've been slacking on that one because the Forbidden series was just more important for me to get out. Because a lot of people have been liking it. So, okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm here to give you the Forbidden Axe build now. If anyone wants to know what this is, this is a fucking inhaler. It's for stuffy nose, like mine. Okay, great. <clears throat> now, to get your Forbidden Axe build right, okay, I'm gonna go through it step by step. Wait, where's my ASMR? There we go. Phew. Can't be working without the ASMR, you know what I'm saying? Just doesn't suit me. All right, let's talk about it. You start out with your Mind Splitter, and I know somebody also wanted Thrax Axe, it just happens that the Thrax Axe works really well with this uh, Forbidden build. So Mind Splitter, alright, your bond will be Stalker's Mercy, which is from the Rift Stalker, alright. Now you might think, now hold up, hold up, hold up, if you're dealing damage then you get Shadow Orbs to deal more damage, but the Axe doesn't continuously strike. That's where the problem is solved with this build, and I'll show you. Special is, uh, sorry, your cells are Tenacious Cell, Adrenaline Cell, alright, you plug them in here. Special is your Grim Onslaught, which you acquire from the Slayer's Path. I, everybody keeps asking me about this Slayer's Path, my friend, Slayer's Path. Alright, the others are not so, not so useful. Um, Overcharged Cylinder, alright, uh, allows your Determination to stack up to four times, so it's useful. Um, and now you've got Iceborne as your uh, Omnicell. You've got your Scorn's Defiance with the Energized Cell. Volcanic Helm from the Charog with a Sturdy Cell. As well as a Boreal Resolve with a Parasitic Cell. Okay? You're following so far, right? Boreal Might with a Rage Cell. And you've got your Chrono Treads with a Pulse Cell. Okay? Chrono Treads might be the only thing that's difficult to acquire in this build other than the Thrax Axe because, quite frankly, you need it for your Pulse. Axe without Pulse, no go. And I'll show you why. I'll show you why. Now, let's go through the uh, perks together. Alright, plus 6 Pulse gives you uh, every 5th hit of your weapon is a critical strike. The Axe combo is always 4 hits. Unless you're doing the Rapid Strikes combo at the end, which is the Light Attack uh, full combo. Um, usually that is not used unless the Behemoth is already down and you just want to whack the shit out of it. Alright. That is when you would use. That is when pulse uh, would not really matter. But when you're using your normal combos, pulse is a great damage increase, especially when you've got a full determination meter, which is why energizes there. When you've got that full determination meter, your axe throw does 2.5 times more damage. This has been tested and proven, which means that when you pulse it out, you gain an additional 1.65 times damage. On top of the already 2.5%, on top of the already determination bonuses and tenacious bonuses and all that, rage bonuses, everything. On top of everything, you get all that. It's beautiful. Alright? Rage. You take a hit, you gain 20% more damage. Super necessary in all the forbidden builds. Why? Because you're going to be taking hits. Sturdy. Prevents you from being staggered when you take a hit. This is what makes this build gold. Tenacious, every 100 hit points, gain 2% bonus damage. You've got 1,200 hit points, that's 24% bonus damage when you're at full health. And in general, it's not that hard to maintain, by the way. Adrenaline. Now, why is this used in Axe build instead of Berserker? Well, number one, Berserker, I cannot, I don't have enough cell slots to counter Berserker with Tough. And Adrenaline, well, you'll be spending plenty of stamina. So you can go up to 16.5% at zero stamina, all right? That'll be your increased damage, 16.5%. But most of the time, you just get a lot of bonuses from using your stamina, and you will be using your stamina because charge attacks are the basis of this whole build. Assassin's Frenzy. Now, this is where it gets killer. This is from the Riftstalker Bomb, but you break apart, you're going to get 15% attack speed for 20 seconds. This thing breaks parts easy. So you often always have this attack speed bonus, which in turn means that you are crazy. 
all right? <laughs> Excuse the nose blow. All right. I know some people of y'all are disgusted with this, but listen, I got allergies and I got to make videos. So I got no time to waste on all your sensitivities. If it's not bothers you, all right, don't watch me. Okay. Now, 15% attack speed is fantastic. All right. It's great. Energize. Your weapon charges faster. This is super necessary. Why? Because the faster you charge your weapon, the faster you have that full determination bonus, the more damage your axe throws do. Parasitic is for your damage reduction and lifesteal. Okay? Now, now that I'm done explaining all that stuff, all right, let's get into the combat showcase. Now, for those... Hi, I'm sh hang, shooting a YouTube vid right now. Thanks for supporting the channel. This is the new build coming out tonight. All right, so for those of y'all that are not interested in the combat showcase, um, please feel free to just like, share, and subscribe right now if you want to, okay? Um, I would very much appreciate if you do that. We'll go to All Rick's Peak just for, just for ease of the showcase. All right, you can like, share, and subscribe right now. You can also drop a tip. If you want to feed your boy, you want to keep my content running, you can drop a tip by the link in the description of the video. And right now, we have super thanks enabled, so you can go to YouTube, you can click that, all right? And I think that your comment will get, like, super highlighted and shit. And, I mean, it does cost a bit, but the money goes to me. So if you want to support me in that way, you don't just want a tip, but I don't know who you are, you can use the super thank comments thing to uh, give me some love. And you can pick up your Asian robot merchandise via the link in the description of the video. Okay? Okay, great. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, I don't know what it costs. Let me see. What what, what, what it costs? While we load in, I can check for you. Yeah, I think you can go like two, five dollars, ten dollars, fifty dollars. It's up to you, but yeah. Um It'll just be like an animated super thanks if you guys wanna do that it's a new thing on youtube i didn't know about it but hey it's there so you want to use it you can use it optional and i appreciate your support regardless all right let's get into it let's get into it you know feeding the macho man just you know helps out a little a little bit with bills and shit well i'm glad i met a fan though that's always cool all right, let's pick up some Slayer's Boon. Now, the first creature that we're gonna kill is about 200 meters away, so I'm setting up a flare there. All right, that's not my personalized flare, as you can see. Still not a Dauntless partner, but I don't care. I like being independent, and obviously, the samurai thing is my thing anyway. All right, we got a, we got a little Rage Tail Nasher down there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. So as always, start off with the axe throw because, well, there's nothing better to do. Catch your axe. Now, you can use your charge attacks out here because what's what's this thing gonna do? What's this thing gonna do, really? Now notice that the pulse is helping you crit, but at the same time, you know, just in case you're in a situation whereby your pulse isn't ready for a throw yet, you can do that. Throw, bang. Okay, you've gone up to the next level. Now this is where you just keep on going. After the fourth hit, your pulse is ready. So get in. You've got your Assassin's Frenzy. 15% fast charge. Oh, boom. Critical hit right there. Alright, you, you starting to understand how this is used? Now if you need two quick hits, you can do that. Like that. Alright. And just bam. You can also use the... Uh, Jump attack for the axe slide. Now that's a technique that I learned recently. I know it's been around for a long time, but I'm gonna show you. If I sprint and jump with the axe, I can slide my character a little bit like that. Your character slides and is very mobile, so that can be helpful when you just wanna upgrade your axe or get things ready. Anyway. You're taking on a level 9 Nasha, you're still at full health, you know, I didn't even use my Ice Ball there, it's dead, it's dead. You see the orb bonuses? Very easy to come by, alright? Keep in mind, my Axe is level 1, that was a level 9 Nasha you just took out with no problems. Okay, you can literally see how easy it is to, uh, to get things done with this build, alright? 
Charge your attacks, make sure your bar's full. Alright, it's just helpful. Don't worry about your pulse timing. Alright, what you want to worry about is making sure you got that full charge going. Full charge going. Bam. Big hit right there. Oh, creature going in rage? Who cares? See, you're axe, you're axe man. I don't have to worry about that shit. Okay, sometimes you fail to knock it down, but that's okay. Just make sure your boss full before you charge through. And that your pulse is ready. Now when I need pulse to be ready, I do that. I just give it a big whack right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's dead. Okay, your axe is now level 2. Are you seeing how fantastic this thing is when you don't have to worry about stupid shit? Now, if you're new to the axe, you may not have Grim Onslaught, that's fine. Okay, let me show you how it looks with Flight of Ruin, just for shits and giggles, okay? Flight of Ruin is now my special. It follows the same principle, but just that you have to be careful with your Flight of Ruin and how you use it, okay? So in order to use that properly, let me show you how it's done. For the dude that asked about the glider guide, I promise you I will do something about it. Now, Flight of Ruin's a bit different. Because you have to time your hit very well, okay? It's not as effective as the usual stuff, but listen. And it also doesn't work with pulse timing, which is why it's not used often. But listen, if you're new, you got no options, right? Okay. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Alright, your fly ruins ready. Okay. That was a miss. But basically, sorry, I haven't used it in a while. So teaching people is a bit harder than expected. Basically, you throw your axe when you're ready for the hit. You gotta make sure that the behemoth is in front of you because your character does a jump slide kind of thing, which is super annoying. As you can see, I still haven't hit the thing with the Flight of Ruin at all, which means if you don't hit it with the last hit of your Flight of Ruin, you do not actually charge up your bar to the next level. The axe throw itself does shit all for you. So you gotta strike it. You see that? Okay, now you got the strike in. But it doesn't... Unlike with Grim Onslaught, it doesn't come with that additional bonus, which is what makes it so weak. But if you got no other options when you're first handling the axe, you know, just sort of do what you can. Alright, just take what you can get until you can get Grim Onslaught. Now, a lot of people, in order to circumvent their need for Grim Onslaught, for uh, Flight of Ruin use, they will use the Relentless Onslaught, which they buy directly from the trial store and slap that in so that they... Uh, don't suffer as much. It's also harder to use, but again, until you get your Grim Onslaught, it's an option. It's an option. Let's put it that way, okay? Alright. Now, with the again, with the whole Flyer Ruin, there's no point in saving up your pulse, so just have fun using it as needed instead for your combos and such. Now because the axe throw doesn't actually stun the creature, sometimes it is well worth putting it down first and then trying to use it that way. But again, it can make determination hard to gather, so it's up to you. Basically, I will use it and as soon as it's ready, I'll just slam down with it. But uh, basically, how you do it is you press your... You press the special, throw the axe as soon as it's out. You know, you call it back with the special again and just slam down. Let me show you. 
like that, I'm just slamming the axe button continuously, and it does that. But you'll notice the damage is far lower than with Grim Onslaught again, it's because the axe throw, although it's not in the tooltip, you just you get you do get a huge bonus on the throw. And that's why some people have said, I noticed my axe throw sometimes does more damage, sometimes it's less damage, you know. Is it based on distance? No, it's not based on distance, it's just based on that. Okay, so I hope that that was an informative little video on how to properly use the axe. Alright, we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, you can drop a tip by the tip link in the description of the video. You want to keep your boy happy. You can give super thanks, all right, as well to feed your boy if you don't want to use the tip link. All right. And last but not least, get some merch. <laughs> all right. Thank y'all. Let's move to the thank you scene. Thank you to July's top tippers. We appreciate Bravo7910, Idget751, Breachinator, Sean, Lewis Graves. Drew Z, G, G, and Vamps, we appreciate you all. Thank you so much, and I'm going to see you on the next video, okay? Catch y'all soon for something else that's crazy.